Welcome back. We're taking a closer look at what is happening to the so-called American dream. The focus of this week's community curated segment is a documentary based here in Milwaukee that follows hardworking Americans from different backgrounds, races and party affiliations. So joining me now to talk about all of this is the struggle for the American dreams film director Faith Kohler. Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk a little bit about who you interview and how deep those conversations go in this documentary. Sure, thank you for having me today. Um, we have interviewed for this documentary any number of workers from different sectors uh, of the workforce here in Milwaukee. We have people who work in uh, manufacturing jobs. We have some small business owners. Uh, we have people who have been employees and we have people who are entrepreneurs. Um, so it's been very interesting to hear the different perspectives and what we've done is put these interviews into the context of the last 40 or so years of economics and politics in the United States as we go through the last four generations basically. Now you talk about the documentary being focused on the American dream but not just a particular period in time, period in history. So how has this American dream changed in today's world? Well, you know, as, as when we had the idea for Out of Reach and as we have kind of walked through the story with the people we've interviewed, what we've seen is that the American dream has adapted over the years. People's expectations for the American dream, for what their work will get them, um, is, is kind of as you go through the generations, you see the changes, um, as I said, in the context of what did our parents, what did our grandparents expect for the American dream? What do our children now expect for the American dream and what was it like for us um, in our generation, you know, for the American dream. So it's, it's been, as I said, an interesting walk through not just one period in time, as you said, but really the last few generations to look at what, what do we think, what do we feel, what do we hope, and what do we dream? Yeah, and I think that this film is definitely obviously based in Milwaukee, but the outreach is not, I mean, this isn't just happening here in this city. I feel like it's happening all over the country. It, it really is, and what we looked at is Milwaukee is very representative of the rest of the United States in terms of you know, the post-World War II, the post-industrial society, and what happens in those changes when neighborhoods change, when communities change, when businesses change and offshore jobs or mass jobs are lost, what happens in those communities is really, in large part, what we've seen with our characters is what has helped shape the new American dream, the new version of it. And what I find very admirable is the way that you describe the film. You're talking about the American dream changing a little bit and people telling you the dream, yes, changed, but it didn't die. It, you know, it's, it's not non-existent. So how did, how did that make you feel to hear that reassurance coming from those that you interviewed? It's actually been very inspiring listen to, some, to listen to some of our characters' stories, to realize that in, even in today's climate, even in the changes that have happened in the United States, that people still hold out hope that what they do matters, that what they work for will be there. You know, it's, it's very different than it was, as I said, for our grandparents, our parents' generation to, you know, when we look at our, you know, Gen Zers now, things are very different from, you know, the baby boomer generation, but ho all hope is not lost is the message we took away from some of these interviews. You know, we have commentary from Mandela Barnes. We have commentary from Charlie Sykes. We have commentary from John Schmid, the author and, and journalist, that really helped put that, that the changes and that hope into context in this film. Absolutely, and really quickly before we let you go, what is that one thing that you hope viewers leave after they watch uh, the documentary? I want our, our audiences to, to think about their own perspective on the American dream and ask how changes around them have impacted them and the way that they perceive their American dream. Amazing, well thank you so much for being here, Faith. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that story. Can't wait to see it.